Join History Victorum as we explore the grounds of the Chateau d'Amboise in the Loire Valley of France. Now this castle was actually built on top of what used to be a Gaul fortress, which later the Romans replaced with a fortified camp. Now you'll notice here that the town of Amboise is just below the castle. So this really was a fortress where you could see your enemies coming from a long distance. So it was very well protected. Now in the 11th century, the Count of Anjou began to build the fortress that would later become the base of the castle. And you can actually walk onto some of these towers and see the Loire Valley, see the castle from afar. And if you look towards the back of the castle, you'll notice that there are walls back there that actually were used to help fortify this fortress and protect the castle. But this is a very windy area, as you can tell in the video. And so this is also a great place to see the Loire River, which as you can tell is very wide and leads up to the Amboise Castle. Now in 1422, Charles VII seized the property from its previous owner who was convicted of plotting against the crown. In the 1490s, Charles VIII actually discovered the Italian Renaissance during one of his military campaigns and commissioned the alterations and improvements to the castle. The castle reached the peak of its glory during the reign of Francis I, who had a passion for Italian art. Francis I invited Leonardo da Vinci to be his first painter, architect, and engineer. Leonardo da Vinci arrived in 1516 and lived in the nearby Chateau du Clos Luce. He died in 1519 and his remains are buried on the grounds of the castle in the small chapel. Along with the improvements to the castle, Charles VIII also made improvements to the gardens. He brought Pacello de Mercogliano to Amboise to design the gardens. Amboise was actually the first to have its gardens in the style of the gardens of the French Renaissance. I hope you enjoy this walk through the gardens.